Hello everybody and welcome to yet another episode of Wine Library TV. I'm your host, Gary Vaynerchuk. Every single day it seems, or at least once or twice a week for sure, I have customers coming to me and telling me they're hosting a wine tasting party and they want a theme. Uh, should I do red wine? Should I do white wines? Should I do California versus France? Should I do a blind tasting? Should I do wines with animals on it? Well, recently a customer and I came up with a very interesting theme and today I'm going to taste through the wines of that very tasting that he did and uh, I'm not going to give away the theme but if you're paying close attention today I think you'll catch it. Basically, if you haven't done so yet, before I get into the wines, I should recommend please have a tasting party. It's a great way to be social with your friends and your family. It's a great way to learn a lot about wine. It gets very fun to have either host it yourself, have everybody bring wine. But if you have not done so yet, getting some great cheese and getting a bunch of wine together and with family and friends, there's nothing better. So a tasting party. Think about it. Do it. If you need help, email me. I'll give you uh, some tips. So let's get into the wines. 2004 Cheeky Chick Pecker's Blend. This is a white wine from Australia. And 73% um, Chardonnay. 14% Marsan, which is a Rhone varietal white wine grape. And the remaining 13% of this wine is Roussan and Viognier. Also Rhone indigenous grapes. Nice fruit, kind of a uh, peach and passion fruit nose. A little too much acidity on the finish for me right now. Nice wine though. Great with seafood platters, salads, very inexpensive, a nice white wine, again similar to the wine we had yesterday, great porch wine. I would tell you that this is a wine that uh, you would not disappoint by serving to friends and family. I'm having it warm, so again remember you can taste the flaws in a warm wine. So I would tell you that uh, there's a nice long finish, a little bit of honeydew, melon, it's a nice wine from South Australia. Again, 2004 Cheeky Chick Peckers Blend. 2004 Pirano, the other white. Huge hit in our store. This wine has been flying. 70% Chardonnay, 20% Sauvignon Blanc, 10% Viognier. And you can smell the Viognier right away. And if you never had Viognier, it's a white grape that is gaining some popularity amongst wine geeks like me. And it's, it, it's a tremendous aromatic grape. And I can smell it right here. This winery, Pirano Estates, has been a big hit to wine library. It's located in Lodi. Great value-oriented wines. Amazing golden color. Again, 70% Chardonnay. And that's coming through. Great sweet white fruits. I wouldn't say it's sweet. This is a dry wine, but almost like a kiwi, melon, lemon blend. Great long finish. Great acidity. Fantastic wine. Wow. Tremendous. And again, with the spring coming, this is a winner. Great nose. Great finish. Excellent wine. 2004 Folio Dew. Menage a Trois White, Moscato, Chardonnay, and Chenin Blanc Blend. Folia Dew is a great winery out of California. This is a California op appellation because they buy grapes and it's a, it's a blend from different areas so it doesn't have a Sonoma or Napa designate. Um, they make a tremendous Zinfandel, Folia Dew does. This is their Menage a Trois White and you can taste the wow. You can smell the Moscato, almost like a uh, Champagne nose. This is very vibrant, fresh, explosive in the mouth. A nice wine. A little dull in the mid palate. I like the body of the uh, Pirano White Other, but this Menage a Trois is a nice wine. 
It's very alive, very vibrant white wine. A great, great, you know, this is a great wine, almost like a spritzer, almost like a, a Sunday brunch white wine. If you, uh, if you do that, if that's part of your routine, this would be a great wine, because it's not too heavy, it's quite nice. I really like that, the Moscato is excellent. 2004, Folio du Menage a Trois Red. Zin, Merlot, and Cab Blend. Something you'll find interesting, Menage a Trois does not give you the exact details of the blend breakdown on the label. However, as a tidbit, I'll call this a fun fact. If you ever see a wine list the uh, grapes in the back, it's just like a product, ingredients. Zin Merlot Cab, meaning mainly this is Zinfandel, then Merlot, and then Cabernet. That is a law, and, and so that's a little tidbit if you're ever interested in what, what the dominant grape is, if you don't know. Very zesty nose, tangy. The Zinfandel is obviously dominant. Great color. Nice fruit. Nice Zinfandel zest. A little bit of Asian spice. No pepper, really, more fruit. Red fruit, strawberries. Great wine. Again, you know what's really exciting about this is that all of these wines are under fifteen dollars, and all are sh all of them have shown really well. Great color. This is the two thousand and four, the other red, Syrah, Petite Syrah, and Cabernet. Seventy percent Syrah, twenty percent Petite Syrah, ten percent Cabernet. Delicious nose. Wow. Huge mouthfeel. Tremendous complexity. Very nice richness. Excellent. Excellent wine. I would tell you that the uh, finish is really still going. I'm really happy. This is, a, you know, this is nice. This, the, all these wines really showed well. Again, they're not powerhouses. They're not wines to put away. These are all wines to kind of, you know, drink this year. They all had slight flaws. None of them are exceptional. Um, except maybe for the other red. I will tell you the Menage Trois, again going back to the Moscato, is great. It really, uh, it really gave it a great nose. A lot of fun. You know, I hope you paid attention to the background, to the wines, to the names, to the labels. You might have got the theme the customer was looking for. It was a lot of fun. I thought it was an interesting concept. I'm curious if you guys got it. I think you probably did. More importantly, wine tastings. It's a great social event.